Welcome. In this video, I want to talk about calculating SHA checksums on a Mac. So the example I'm using here is on the Raspberry Pi page, and there's a download for the different types of Raspberry Pi. There's three of them here, and they all have this SHA-256 hash under them. So what this is for is this is a hash you can use to confirm that the file you downloaded is the correct file. So there are two reasons you might want to know this. One is for security purposes. You want to make sure that no one has tampered with that file uh, during your download. And then also there could be corruption, like if you're on a bad network or something, that could cause corruption in the file you're downloading. So by checking the downloaded file against the hash, you can tell if the file has been modified from when the hash was originally created. Now, if someone had corrupted this file before the hash was originally created, then that's not going to help you. This will only tell you if the file is the same as you're expecting to download. So this should work on, I think, all versions of Mac, probably even the first ones maybe would have had this. So I'm in my downloads folder, and I've already downloaded this file here, the Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit with desktop and recommended software. So I'm in my downloads folder, and I'll hit LS here. And I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll have some of these commands that I'm using. So here's the file I want to check right here. And this is the same file as this one. If I hit download zip, it would download this file. To check it, I want to type SHA sum. And first I'll just type space dash H. That'll give me the help file. I'll scroll up here a little bit. So it says SHA sum option file. And we want to look at this algorithm here. So it'll do SHA one if we don't type anything, but we want it to do SHA 256. So I'll type SHA sum space dash A space 256 space, and then I'll type the name of the file, which is 2020-05, blah, 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 a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so I'll hit enter here, and this will calculate the hash, and it will display the hash when it's done. Okay, so here we have the hash, is this long thing here, and that should match up with this. So I'll just open up a text file. And I'll copy this one in there, and I'll copy this one on a separate line. And here we see they line up. So the way these hashes work is if a single bit, a single one or zero in this file was modified, this hash would look totally different. So if you're not in a high security environment, you can mostly just double check that a couple of these add up. You know, it says DD61 and FDBD at the front. Now in a high security environment, you may want to actually do that. But even a single tiny little change here will completely change this hash so it'll look completely different, won't look even close to the same. So when I created this hash, make this a little bigger here, I could use a greater than symbol and just make a file called hash or whatever. And that would write this hash into the file. And I've actually done that, so I'll show you that. So I wrote this to a file. So we have the hash here and we have the file name here. So we could actually use a file like this to check. So we type SHA sum, and this time we would type space dash C space, and then hash, and I'll hit enter. And it knows the hash and it knows the file name. So it will check this and make sure the hash is correct. So where you could use this, and you could put multiples of these in here. Say someone wanted you to download five huge files. So they could send you this hash file and send you to a public website, or you know, a publicly unencrypted website, and you could download those files and then you could run this hash algorithm on it and it would tell you if those files had been modified and you would know if you had the correct files or not. So here it says the file is okay. So we know the hash is okay. So you'll see these hashes on a lot of different downloads and you want to make sure you're using the right version. This is SHA-256. You might have SHA-1, SHA-2, as we saw earlier in the help. Uh, there were a number of different versions. There's 224, 384, 512. So you want to make sure you're using the correct version of that. So a lot of times you'll download things, you'll just ignore these, but it's not a bad idea to check them for multiple reasons. So I get views from people with all sorts of different experience levels. So if anything confused you on this, drop a comment below and hopefully I can help you out on this. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.